Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Frostpunk and once again we are on the brink. We are on the absolute brink of disaster. Whether we can actually bring things back from disaster, I have no idea. I've got absolutely no clue whatsoever but I'm just going to press play and we're going to continue onwards. So at the moment, we have got nothing going on in here. I don't have anybody in the factory. I want people in the factory, but we don't have anybody there. I'm busy doing this um, streamlined prosthesis um, research, which is going to reduce the amount of steel that is needed per prosthetic by uh, half, which is absolutely brilliant. There we go. Right, so I've got that one done now. It has been suggested to me that I increase the number of re uh, workshops that I have so that I can get more research going and it, it'll um, speed it up. And I do think this is a good idea, however, I don't think I should be doing that just yet. Uh, generator power upgrade allows us to raise temperature in all heat zones by one level. Uh, there's 10 hours on that one. That would actually work quite nicely. Or we've got the generator range upgrade, improved heaters. Uh, workplaces by two levels each heater. No, it's not the heaters I want. It is the generator, I think. Steam hub range. Steam hub efficiency. I think I want the generator power upgrade next. 40. The, the range upgrade will be good, but I don't want that one yet. What I want is the power upgrade right there. So we're going to go with that one. That's 25 steel. That will leave me with just a few. I've got steel coming in here from there's uh, people working there, but I want people working in here now. I've got to have engineers to do that, so I'm going to reduce two engineers out of the... Actually, no, I'm going to just do one engineer out of the steel. Let's go here over to the timber. i got five engineers in here. I'm going to put that down to five people working there in total. And we are looking in here. I've got eight. Coal is going to stay at maximum. Over here, I've got two people working in the hothouse, and this hothouse over here, I've got another two engineers. This one, I've got ten engineers in there, and I've got ten people in there. Patience in there is about half full. This one here, we hardly have any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce down the number of engineers that are working in there by three, and I'm going to reduce the number in there by three as well. We can take the maximum into that factory now, and over here in the sawmill can I increase the number if I got maximum on both of that one there is busy working I've got maximum people in there uh, let's put another one back in on the steel and then we'll go on to the timber and we'll put another person two people in there so that is maxed out completely I'm hoping this is going to be sufficient okay uh oh this one here I need to actually as functioning I need to order some prosthetics to be made um, that is three. I'm actually going to order four. You know what? I'm going to go for order ten of those. So they're just going to keep using them up. Uh, using up the steel as the steel is produced. And they will start doing that. What it's going to do is it's going to allow... i got 43 amputees here. And it will allow them to start coming in to work. Which I think I can only assume is a good thing. Getting people in to work has got to be a good thing. I, I cannot see that it is bad in any way having people here working so one of those working there it's it's taking a while how fast are we going let's speed things up a little bit there we go and we get one of those people with a prosthesis there we go we got one we've, we've got one I got 43 people working now it doesn't actually say that I've got um, a person available I've got the two automatons working on there and then these gathering camp, gathering posts, these are working. Uh, achievement unlocked once more unto the breach. And there is a person available. So we're going to start filling up this one here. I'll start. There's, an, oh, there's an, another engineer available. Oh, no, there's a worker. I've got a worker available there. And I've got an engineer as well. I've got 10 people working here. Nobody's working in that steelworks yet. I want to bring this one all the way up to maximum first. There we go. So I've got that one up. Now I'm going to start bringing up the hot houses so that I've got some more food. Except that food rations, food rations is up to max. So I don't actually need that. Food rations are doing all right at the moment. I can't put anybody working the coal piles because I've got automatons working on the coal piles. I want some more of those though. Oh, right. Scouts have returned safely. I've got another steam core. 
98 food rations, 35 children and 66 wood. The wood is brilliant. The wood is what we want. A load of children moving in, not necessarily that great. Uh, children 0 of 15, no children in shelter at the moment. Um, my issue is this here, temperature is going to drop one level. I've got houses here, these are all livable. Temperature is going to go minus 4, which means they're going to drop below livable, which means I'm going to lose that one there. I've got to keep them all going a little bit longer. And I don't have an upgrade on this, so there's no way of, like, boosting it. Uh, boosting the power of it. I can have this one. I'm going to have to watch that there, because what I can do is I can boost this into overdrive. But does that boost those if i put it into overdrive does it also boost the others i've got three people now where can i put them kind of want to, actually i think i'll be putting them onto the steel we're going to go for we'll go for some more steel up there and then we can get more prosthetics and then we'll be able to get some automatons going as well and we want more coal i'm going to need more coal still so i'll put three people up there i'll put all of them in there and this one here is the steam coal thumper. This one here is the regular coal thumper. So I want the steam coal thumper to be upgraded. I've got here in this coal pile 526 coal. With people that they've got a load of it in range. And they're working hard to get it. We're up to 422 coal at the moment. So if I upgrade this one first to a steam coal thumper. I've got 11 people who are homeless which is not great. Uh, let me Hang on let me just check this. What have we got? Just 11 homeless. Uh, that's a problem for me. 11 homeless people. What can I do about that? I suppose I could build another house, but that's going to eat into my valuable steel. Resources, um, there we go. So I got a steam coal thumper there. 35 wood, 25, so that's 25 steel. That's only going to leave two steel behind if I do that, but there's a whole load more coal going into that if I do this upgrade and I, I think that it's absolutely worth it we want this upgrade then we can worry about a steel upgrade in a bit we've got three steam cores which means I can make three more automatons to go in there and start running some extra stuff um, I think this is the way forward so let's um, carry on speed things up again oh the only issue that I've got really oh hang on right I'm not gonna change the work time on those we've already got the work time on a little bit i've got an unpopular i got overtime work oh now we're in trouble what's going on here abuse of power sir an unpleasant un, unpleasant unpleasant accident has happened one of our guards was insulted by a prisoner so he hit the offender with his baton knocking a man out people are angry and demand that you punish the guard the person will leave the city forever discontent will fall Discontent will fall slightly, hopeful fall. I don't want to banish him completely. He was completely out of order, and under normal circumstances we lose his job and so on. But I don't think we should banish him from the city forever. I think, you know, your tensions get high, and you, you've got to sort of allow that as well. So we will punish him, but we won't, um, we won't banish him from the city. We will punish him. He's got to be punished for that. He cannot. We cannot just allow something like that to happen. That's, that's not a thing. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not having that. But at the same time, you've also got to be a little bit careful, right? We've got 17 of 20 inhabitants in here, and I've got 12 people homeless. No children in shelter. I do need to. I'm going to need to build another house, aren't I? This is what we're going to need to do. That one's at 100 percent. Scouts have returned. 36 workers, 18 engineers, 7 children. Okay, right. Now my problem is I've got 73 homeless people. Um, I need steel for this to be able to work. And I've also, I've still got to keep the homes warm. I'm, I'm curious, I tell you what, let's, let's, I just want to see what happens if I put this into overdrive. We'll put the temperature overlay on like that. If I drop that into overdrive, and then I'd... Right, that's okay. Okay, it does... It boosts all of them, even the ones with the heaters. So I, that bit there is going to be acceptable. That is going to be all right. 
So what I'm going to do is we've got a heater over here that is working on a timer. I don't want a heater going any closer to the snow pit. That's where we put our dead bodies. We, we kind of don't want any, any in there. Um, those are fine. So what we're going to do is we want to put a... Let me get rid of that temperature overlay. Can I do that? Yeah, there we go. Right. I'm going to want to put a heater in here somewhere, and then I'm going to want to build some houses here, and I'm also going to want a whole load of extra people going to work. So we've got that there. I can't really put any more steam in. I'd like more coal thumpers going up, but I don't have the resources for that right now, do I? Let's see. We, we, I know that it's all paused at the moment. I am very deliberately leaving it all paused at the moment. There is another coal thumper. I could put another coal thumper in. What about a gathering post? That is five steel. It won't go all the way in there. I've got to bring it out here. Is that going to be too far away? Where is my um, steam heater there? I think that's actually going to be all right. I'd, I'd kind of like that one to be um, used. So I could put a gathering post in there like that. That means that I've got a bit of space there that's not really being used. Then I want yet another coal thumper. We will upgrade to a steel one in a little while, so we'll put that there. Then I'm going in here and I'm going to build some roads. They are going to go just out like that. That is all. Uh, that one there won't reach the new coal piles. That one will reach this coal pile a little bit. This one will easily reach those coal piles, the spine. We can also put an automaton onto each of the coal piles that we're making. So we've got lots and lots of coal. This is what we need. We need loads of coal. I also need food. Food is important. We've got two hot houses. I'm not getting rid of those. I'm going to want a, um, a heater. And that is under tech. And the steam hub is 20 steel, which I don't have at the moment. So I cannot make that. If I go building more houses, it's going to have to be tents, and I don't have those either. So we're going to have to leave these for 20 hours. Let's go. We can speed through the night. We are going to have some sick people through the night. There is going to be illness through the night because of my chosen plans here. Because of how I'm doing this. But it's, it's going to get cold very, very soon. Any moment now... Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm putting the overdrive on. I'm going to put that one on now. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna get ahead of this. These here, I'm actually going to max those out like this. There we go. Uh, that should help get the sick people through those as quickly as possible. And the cold is about to hit us. It's on overdrive. We have got to get organised. Tendency is very low for Londoners, which is brilliant. There we go. Right, the research is almost done. Temperature falls. Minus 60. Right, now temperatures are livable still. Generator power upgrade to researched. Let's just have a look in here. I'll turn that one on. Oh, it's already on. So we've got to wait for that temperature to come all the way up before I switch the overdrive off. And that way I've still got this bonus. So let me just uh, take a look at this a minute. We're on 412 on the coal. Coal is good. we got people coming out to work. We must work harder. Yes, we must work harder. Right, let's get those people out to work. Let's get uh, three engineers in there and then max it out. So those people come out to work. They're already at work over there. And this one here is a little chilly, but I'm going to put the heater on there just to make it a bit more bearable for them that one comes up and i've got seven hours left oh i forgot to do the scouts completely forgot the scouts and i keep forgetting to do um something for send scouts along the shore of the frozen bay we can see the outline of an enormous ship um yep send those over there those two days no i keep forgetting to enact new laws in the book of laws so i kind of need to do that as well Problem is, I keep, I do keep forgetting about that. Right, three days for the scouts to get all the way out there. That's okay. We'll, we'll cope with that. So I want the Book of Laws again. We've got adaptation and we've got purpose. 
Find ways to fight discontent and restore hope to battle hunger, sickness, and apathy. What have we got here? I did the corpse disposal, organic fertilizer. That's going to upset people. Right, but we've got over here engineer apprentices. Education is key to our future. Let's teach our children engineering so they can help with new designs. After introducing a law, another one can be passed. Our children from child shelters will help at workshops speeding up research. Children of child shelters will help at medical facilities raising their efficiency. I think we will speed up research. Sign that one in. There we go. We're going to add in some new research on here. Generator range upgrade 2. I don't have... Uh, I've hardly got any steel at the moment. Streamlined automatons will cost 20 wood and steel less to make. I need 25 altogether for that. Uh, resources. Resource depot upgrade. They can store 50% more. I've got 10 steel on there. I could do that. Uh, coal mining. No. Sawmill upgrade allows us to introduce workplaces that will raise the efficiency of all sawmills and steam sawmills by 25%. Uh, why not? We'll take that one, I think. We'll go for that. Right. Let's continue on. We've got seven hours to go. Seven hours left. Now, this is cold work. Wise decision. Little hands can do a lot of good. So hope is rising. Hope is rising rapidly. Now, in here, why didn't why haven't I got a road? There should be a road. I set a road building. Maybe I didn't have the timber for it. Right, let's put that one in there like that. Hopefully they'll build that one now. Yes, it, it does actually look like they're going to build it now. So I've got 10 of 10 in there. I've got 10 of 10 in here. Yes, and there, and there, and in there, and in that one as well. Right, so I've got 10 of 10 in all of them. This one here, we're going to go for another 10 prosthesis. Like that, this timber one over here, I'm going to put in a couple of engineers, and then I'm going to max that one out like that. And over here in this workplace, I've got... I'm going to turn the heater on. That's at least going to take it to very cold. It's, it's not brilliant, but it, um, it it's better than nothing. I'm going to need to build houses. I've got to build houses very, very soon. Why has the Londoners thing disappeared? Is that because nobody else is joining the Londoners at the moment? Because of my, um, my hope? Uh, it could be. If I'm going to build more houses, I'm going to have to build another steam hub. And we'll do it out here. I'll build the steam hub there, and I can put a load of houses out there. Actually, I might move it up there and put the steam hub or something. I'm not quite sure yet. Keep homes warm. I've got three hours to do that. We've got an issue here. Sir, the time is at hand. The Londoners have gathered around the generator for the last time. They're going to leave the city. This is our last chance to stop them from committing mass suicide. Whatever they said and did, they still have people, even if they go, if they no longer think so. Stay with us. You'll die out there. Hope is too low. Order guards to stop them. Many people will be hurt. Some may die. Let them go. 121 people will leave the city forever. You don't have enough food to equip, equip them for the journey. So I can either let them go or order the guards to stop them. Many people will be hurt. Some will die. That is going to crush our hope and stuff like that. Um... I don't know! What do we do? How, how do you decide which one you go for? We got 121 people. 121! That's insane! They're all gonna die, but I won't have to build more houses. I'm 70 people who are homeless at the moment. Uh, hope will fall. What do I... I um, I'm gonna let them go. I'm just gonna let them go. I'm not gonna force them to stay here if they don't want to. It is a suicide mission. I'm going to let them go. If you want to leave, then go. They're really leaving. Are they mad? God, please watch over them. I can't believe it. I knew some of them. I never thought they'd do this. It's tragic. We should have persuaded them to stay. I'd hope they'd eventually see reason. The Londoners file out of the city. One of them stops in front of you for a moment. She looks like she's about to say something, but she just sighs, shakes her head, and follows the others. They soon vanish in the white out. Their tracks erased by the tumbling snow. We shall pray for them. Hope. Actually, Hope has not dropped by very much. And I no longer have anybody that is homeless. I do have a few people who are no longer at work like they should be. This is this is not a good thing. 
So let us just pause a moment and we're going to go into here. Right, so I've got eight people. First of all, we're going to the prosthetics in there and I will put that back up to maximum. Over here in the steel, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to leave those. I'm going to take people out of that one. I'm going to turn that heater off and we're going to say none working in there at the moment. I'm going to max that one out and then we're going to come back over to here and what do we got on here? Sawmill... Why is it inoperable? No gatherable resources in range. Right, okay. In which case, we want no people working in that one. And we will instead have this one maxed out with a heater on. So that it's going to make it a little bit more comfortable. That one, we will demolish that building. So then, we want in these two. We're going to max that one out. So I've got 10 of 10 working in there. This one over here, I'm going to max that one as much as I can. I can't max it anymore one person working in each of those I've got two people working in here this is not really good um, no there's 10 to 10 in there what's this one that is a medical post I don't actually need anybody working in the medical post I can demolish the medical post I can take that one apart remove it forever and then we can build a new house in there if we want to um, that means that I can put a person working back in there and keep that one tidy so that people are happy there. And we've got gathering posts here. I've got 10 of 10 people working in that one. This one is 10 of 10. This one here is 10 of 10. And this one here is 8 of 10. I've got 220 food, 144 food rations there, and 20 steel. I think we're going to be all right. I know this is a horrible thing to say, but those people leaving us is probably the best thing that could have happened to us. <laughs> um, it's, 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 it's not a very nice thing. Right, I can turn this off now, I think. If I have a look at my homes... Yeah, look at this. They're yeah, comfortable. I can, I, can, I can drop that back down off the overdrive, which is going to reduce that quite a lot. Um, here, citizens need... We've got a lack of medical care at the moment, they're saying. And what have we got now? A letter of thanks. Sir, an engineer is here to see you as a letter to you from his team. My work has asked me to deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like bad poetry, but here's the gist of it. They want to thank you, sir. The sight of this automaton working tirelessly in the inhuman cold where previously they told and suffered is something worth living for. Hope will rise slightly. Look, our hope is going up. The discontent is way down. I have an unpopular decision. And I have an emergency shift and two overtime works. The overtime is on here. I'm going to take that one off. That's got discontent. It's come down now. Where else have I got overtime? I can't remember where I've got the other overtime shift. There's only one other overtime shift. I think it was in the coal. Was it? It's not that one. Maybe it was this one. No. Gathering post. Uh, yeah, it's that gathering post there. I'm going to drop that one down. Uh, zero discontent. One emergency shift is a temporary modifier. Lack of medical care is a bit of an issue. I've got two people who are sick. Over here, I've got these. They should be able to go for treatment, so they should be all right. Let's, um, let's, let's start this one on. We'll just speed that up a little bit. Two hours. We've got two hours left. Two hours, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll have done it. We'll have actually done it. It will have worked. Um, those, yeah, it is cold over in there in that workplace, but I think it's okay. And I can't believe this. We've actually, it's like, it's actually kind of worked. You promise people want you delivered. Hope rises. Look at this. Zero discontent and hope. This is, this is, this is just fantastic. Right. I kind of want to build another guardhouse. We've got this guardhouse here, this guard station. If I can build another one, I'm going to have even more people living near a guard station, which I think is a really, really good thing. Um, order. Guard station. 15 wood and 10 steel. I can drop that one in there. That is... Actually, I'm, I'm sort of looking around here now, and I'm thinking that there would be the best position to put it. So what I'll do... So I'll go to that bunkhouse and I will dismantle it and then I will go here and I will rebuild another bunkhouse to replace that one like that and we will go here and we will go to the streets and we'll put that one in there and I'm going to put another street all the way across there like that there there we go 
And I'm just going to wait for this one to be demolished. When that one has been dismantled, we're then going to build another guardhouse in there. I've got 200 people working at the moment. In there, I've got more prosthesis turning up. I've still got 12 people. Right, now what? Cold workplaces. Captain, some of our people are here to talk to you. They're used to working in cold, but recently the temperature in the workplace has fallen so low, it's become unbearable. Uh, let's heat all workplaces. You'll have to start heating zero cold workplaces within 24 hours and keep them heated for a day. You'll start heating two cold workplaces within two days and keep them heated for a day. Zero? Let's heat all workplaces. Uh, store, secure at least cold conditions in workplaces zero of five. Uh, well that's not a workplace. The resource depot and the sawmill. Yeah, I want a, a, a thingy right there, but I can't build that one yet. I've got to wait until... I'm going to have to wait until morning, I think. I've got that there. These here, do these switch off? during the night. Somebody said that they turn off during the night, but I wasn't actually quite sure if that was accurate or not. And I, re I really don't know at the moment. Um, I've got these two automatons working over here. They're working on the coal piles. I am wondering if I should move one of them over onto steel, because then I can build another um, thingy. We'll, we'll, we'll just keep going like this for a minute. Let's keep going, because it's not going to change until morning. I can't really make any changes until morning. Uh, these guys here, they're, they're toasty warm anyway. That, that's fine. Right, let's just pause it a second, and we'll go into there. We want to go to order, and we want to build a... Oh, guard station is 10 steel. That one's 5 steel. Yeah, guard station. Uh, I've already upgraded those, haven't I? Yes. They're already upgraded to guard station. So we'll build a guard station there. We'll have more guards coming in. And I've got a house right there that's being built. So, although I don't actually need it, I don't think. I've got 10 of 10. No, I don't think I need it. But anyway, let's take a look through. This one is, the heater is off in here. So it's chilly at the moment. And what did I need? I've got to make it bearable. Make work, oh, uh, no. Uh, secure at least cold conditions. Well, it's... Oh, it's very cold in that one. So I do actually need a steam thing in there. I need a steam hub for several of these. That one... That one is way cold. That is way cold, man. I didn't think... Uh, I see. He's out of range of that one. Oh, and also we've... Um, we, we turned the temperature down during the night. I don't know if this is going to work. It says security is cold conditions in workplaces. I've done 0 of 11. So let's get through the night, and then we'll see what it's like in the morning. So I know that I've got these automatons over here. There is one person ill. Still only one ill. Because I they, they're, work, they're coming in here. Look at this. Look at that. They're coming in here. They're getting healed up, and they're going back home again. This is fantastic. Right, I know what I will do, though. I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to reduce the number of people working in that one way down and then I'm going to go into here and I'm going to boost that up by two people there and I'm going to come into here and I'm going to boost that up by two people and we can start working through some of the others now I got 14 oh, that's 10 of 10 in that one um, oh the hunters the hunters are all down that's not very good let's max that one up okay over here, that one's not making a difference, so I do need another steam hub if I'm to make that one bearable. Uh, that's not very, that's not really very good, and I want a steam hub in here. This one here is... that's very cold. And then I've got a workplace there, and that's a resource depot, which doesn't actually count as a workplace. And I don't think that one counts either. So we're on six of... T I, I think I need to pause these. Do I want to pause them? Oh, they're not actually working at the moment. Let's just speed that up a minute. There, I got seven left on there. I'm going to drop that back down a minute. There. Twenty, right. So now I've got twenty people there. I'm going to put two engineers to work in there, which is going to increase hope again, because i got so many people living near a guard station. And now we've got cold workplaces. I've got 
two cold work. So if I'm to keep this on overnight, I'm going to have to keep that one on 24 hours. And make sure that one is also on 24 hours. And that one there is on 24 hours. Then over here, I've got that. Right, I've got one there. And i got one over here. If I was to build a... I don't really want to build another um, thing over here somewhere. Let me take a look. Where can I put? If I go into tech and I go to the steam hub, that is not going to reach both of them. And I, I kind of need to reach both of them for this to work. Uh, we've got technology is almost done. So I'd have to, I could put that one there. And then... What's the benefit of this? I can bring it down that way a bit. Go to there. Is that still... That should actually cover both of those. If we drop that one in there, they should warm that one up as well. That's going to put... That's cold. With the heater. Building insulation. Yeah. We'll put that one in. And that's going to cover this sawmill here. So I got that one there, which needs attention. That one's fine. This one needs... If I put that one on, what's that going to do? That's going to put it to very cold. That's still not enough. You... You don't actually have it. Okay. Very cold is not enough. We cannot do very cold, which means I'm going to need another steam hub. And I'll have to move it up here, further up this line. Which I didn't really want to do. I've got 8 of 10. That's going to be 9 of 10. I've got that one there to warm up and that one over there that I've got to warm up. This one doesn't count because this one is out of range. I mean, I could put another steam hub over here. That could work. That could actually work quite well. And I could... Right, sawmill upgrade researched. I've got... Oh, I've only got 18 steel. I need the steel to come... I, I need to increase the amount of steel we got. Just speed that up. Oh, steady. What's going on here? Refugees from Frostland. Captain, a group of exhausted survivors has reached our city. From their frantic explanations, we know they've come a great distance and that many of them have died on the way. The phrase doom is coming keeps being repeated and they say many more refugees are following them. They are begging you to help them, sir. This group will enter our city. You'll decide what to do with the others later. We will send out search parties to bring them to the city. We may need to be cautious. Hmm. If we overdo it now, we could stretch our resources out. And there's a big disaster coming. You, you, look, see? Right there, it said the doom is coming. Um, we will help them, but we're going to be cautious. Resolve the situation with the incoming refugees. Zero of three. Make work more bearable. Well, I'm trying to make work bearable down here. That one is done. That one is... Wait a minute. Why is that so small? Oh, it's, it's spreading out. That's why. That's okay. And... Oh, no, 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 no. You're supposed to be covered by it. You're supposed to be covered. How... How is that range not sufficient? It's covering that one. That was not part of the master plan. It's supposed to cover it. Look. Look. It's just out of range, so it doesn't actually count it. Uh, let me go on to here a minute. I've only got four hours left. Temperature overlay. Yeah, it doesn't cover it. It is not covered. So, option two. I, I kind of need to build one over here. This one here, as uh, I'm going to be dismantling that one. That one is coming down. Bye-bye. We don't need you anymore. Secure at least cold conditions. Well, I've got chilly conditions in here. That's actually... I think that's actually uh, acceptable. Uh, this one over here... No, I don't want to turn that heater on. But that one is fine. This one over here has now got the heat... Is, we can turn that heater off, and that one's still going to be fine. Uh, so you got, yeah, chili, that's above, that chili is fine, Ch chili is good. But it's this one here, that one's out of range, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to want to put another steam hub over here, and then I can put some stuff around it. I think that is going to be the way forward, but I also need to put a steam hub in there. And that, this bit is making this a little bit more tricky, right. Um, let's do that. And steam hub, right, I can put the steam hub there. Which is going to make those workplaces a bit more bearable and will be able to allow people to come out that way. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in time though. I think that we are going to be out of... I've got 8 of 11. I need that one to be destroyed. 
so that it actually counts. And I don't think I've got the people here for the work. Maybe I have. How long have I got? I got f oh, I got five hours. Citizen has had to have a limb amputated. Right, five hours. I may still be able to do this. It's this one here that is our problem. I can turn the heater on. Just warm it up a fraction. Yeah, I don't think five hours is enough. Um, I can put some more people in there and I forgot to add research. Oh, no, I didn't forget to add research. It was just that I didn't have enough um, at the time. Right, so I got that one there. Yeah, we'll leave, we're leave. we going to leave that heater there where it is. I Oh, I've got 20. I've got 20. Have I got enough time to build one more heater? I've got 8 of 11. So where, where are they all? There's two there and there's one over here. I removed that one. That one maybe didn't count. I'm not quite sure. Storage limit reached. Oh, these are full. Those three are full. Right. Uh, in which case, I can put nobody in here. And then I'll put maximum people on there maximum workers on that one actually i can um, max that one back out again anyway and i can have maximum people working on that coal pile that's going to help and then we're going to here and we're going to the steam hub and we will let me just spin around a bit uh there is that going to cover it you seriously i gotta go all the way back over there if i go there that would also cover it if i went over that way so if I go under here like this, I take that to there like that and then I go in here and I go to the steam hub. That is just going to cover it. It's going to move it over just a fraction. I don't know if I got enough room in there to put anything, but um, so be it. Right, we're out of steel. Am I? Is, is this going to work? Is this going to work? This is the question. That one is on and running. Right, let's start. I've got... How long have I got? How long have I got? Two hours. That one's up and running. I've now got nine of eleven. Secure at least cold. Where's where's the rest? Of, oh, don't tell me it's one of these. That one's chilly. This one, that one's fine. That one over there, that is chilly as well because I don't have the heaters on. Uh, temperature overlay, let's have a look. You know, it might be because I got rid of that other bit. Oh, it's this one. No, that's chilly. That one there is the hunter's hut. But I don't think a hunter's hut counts. Surely that one doesn't count. What's this one? The stockpile. I can't really do anything with that. Um, those are all fine. That's, that's all. These are all chilly. This one here is now chilly. And I, I could put that going, and I could actually put some people working in there. Um, it's this one over here, this coal thumper. It's the only one that I can think of, and the resource depot is cold, but I've got the heater over there. Um, I, I, I'm starting to think that maybe it was because I uh, destroyed a place, and it doesn't actually count. We get this one built... Let's see, if we, let's see if it'll build. Waiting for workers. This isn't going to work at all, is it? I'm not going to do it. i got half an hour left and they haven't started. It's literally just minutes in it. Hope falls. Discontent rises. You broke your promise. Sir, you have... Look. Oh, no. Oh, the hope was doing so well. It's just one tiny, tiny little thing happens. They're saying that we got no food. Why are they saying we got no food? I should have loads of food. There we go, look. That one's up and running now. It's up and running. Resolve the situation. Where did I... I had like a, a thump thing. Why have I only got two hours left? Right, you there, you are going eight until six. You there are doing uh, eight till six. And you are doing eight... Uh, yeah, uh, eight till six. So we turn all of those off. That's going to give me some more time on here. That one's got to stay. That one's got to stay. This one here is another 8 till 6. And we can shut down as well. Right. All of those shut down. I've still only got an hour left on the steam because it is... Look at the coal being sucked back. This, this is now my big issue is that I've got no coal. And this one here is maxed out. 
that one over there is, is producing lots, but I need I need more automatons. We've got to find a way to build more automatons now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. We're doing all right. And what is the situation here? I've got more refugees coming in. I've just got to wait and deal with them as they turn up. It's going to get colder again very soon. i got 13 steel. Have I got enough to do any more research? Book of Laws. Let's go in here first. Fight discontent. Uh, go back. Can I go back to... Where's the general laws? I don't think there is. It's, it's these. Uh, purpose right here. Patrol. Uh, foreman. Appointing responsible foreman will make sure that people work as efficiently as possible. After introducing this law, another one can be passed. Ability foreman. Increases the efficiency of a workplace by 40% for 24 hours. Right. Propaganda center. No. I don't really want a propaganda center. A prison. No. Patrol. Right. After introducing this law, new ability, patrol guard station. Each use will reduce discontent. Each use will raise hope slightly. A... Ah. That might be useful. Guards will patrol the streets near their guard station to maintain law and order. It will provide them with extra food for their efforts. Ten food rations each time that we want to do that. That could be good. That, that could actually help the situation quite a bit. Um, and then you've just got, I've, or I've got foreman, so that workplace, I think I might do this one. We'll do this one for now, and we'll, we'll worry about the other one at the, at the next one, so we could. Uh, how do we, how, how do I, oh, foreman, there. Cost 10 food, oh, 10 food rations. The foreman will ensure everybody at this facility works the best of ability, you'll have to provide the foreman with food. Workplace efficiency will rise by 40%, which is actually pretty good. Uh... So you can't do it for, like, the coal pile or anything like that. That's not an option. Coal is about to run out. Now, how can I stop this? That one is off. That one... Let's turn that heater off. Let's turn that heater off. Workplace... All these workplace heaters, I'll turn them off. Apparently they don't run during the night anyway, but just in case... Just in case, that's all... I'm turning these off because I cannot run the risk. I've only got eight pieces of coal left. Four, two. And the generator is shutting down. There we go. Five o'clock in the morning, the generator is shutting down. Let's speed this up. We may as well go on a little bit further. Tell you what, we'll go to 6 a.m. And I will run this. It's these gathering houses. I didn't realize these gathering houses were so low. So if I, I'm going to reduce that down to none a minute on there, and then I'm going to max that one out, and then I'm going to go into this one, I'm going to max that one out, and then I'm going to go into this one, and that one's already maxed out, and then I'm going to go onto there. So this one right here that has 2,000, I'm going to switch that one onto there, and that one also onto there, and that one there onto it as well. So they've all got those running. Right, hope and discontent are about the same at the moment. That's fine. They are all going to go to work in just a minute, and then I can turn the generator back on. There we go. They're all, they're all at work. They're all freezing. Yeah, that's just great. Right, the generator can go back on now. Put that back on to steam level. It's 48 coal per hour. Bring you back up to speed, and this one over here is going to come back online in another two hours' time. That's fine. Oh, there we go. That's back online. Right. Food. Food situation. Let's have a look in here. Um, I've got 20 steel. I've got 10 people working in there. And i got 3 people working in that one. This one here is toasty warm. This one over here, not so much. That is low risk of people getting ill. We'll leave that as it is. We'll let that carry on. This one in here... How many pros... I got 11 prosthetics that I could make. I think we'll go for prosthetics first, and then we'll save up to get an automaton after that. So I'm going to go for uh, 10 of those, and we'll, st we'll keep building back in for steel again. So let's speed this up a bit. A whole load of people coming in, and you right there, I want that foreman one. Facility will have increased efficiency for the next 24 hours. There we go. That's producing more coal, but I'm not actually um, getting the coal gathered as fast. 
So I'm going to do that on the gathering post as well. Is also going to increase the uh, the efficiency. This one down here, this one's working fine. Scouts have reached Dreadnought Landing. Here we go. Right, what have we got? Um, let's just explore. We found a piece of hull plate bolted to a boulder. It's engraved with the following inscription. In the year 1888, the American expedition aboard Hephaestus landed here in search of a haven from the global glaciation. May God preserve the souls of our fellow countrymen who perished on the way aboard our sister ship Prometheus. Sites discovered, Tesla City. We have got 106 steel, 126 wood and one steam core. The steel is invaluable. That will get me another automaton if I want it right. Tesla City over here, a large settlement, numerous buildings, dimly visible, shining dome with electrical discharge as you project over the town. 12 hours to arrive there. Go to there. Go go to that one. So you're carrying 106 steel at the moment. We want to get you over to the next one and then that'll be good. These guys right here, I don't know what to do with these. Right, time do they reach our city. You can send scouts to meet and escort them to our city. Or I can just leave them. I don't have scouts available at the moment. We will deal with them as they come in. That one I need to dismantle. That was no good to us. Uh, which means... Oh, this one right here. This one's... It's keeping everybody warm while they work. I wanted to do another wood. I've, I've got no timber at the moment. Um... Let's carry things on a minute. Coal is a serious issue. I need more coal. I need more people working on the coal heaps, don't I? If I can get more people working on the coal heaps... There we go. Let's put another one in there. Let's take no workers on there, and I'm going to move that bunch of workers there onto that coal heap. There's 500 on there. Uh, this one here is producing 100 coal an hour. So what I actually want to do is I want to upgrade this coal thumper right here. And I've got the... I've, I think I've got everything I need for that. Resources. Steam coal thumper. Boost that one up. That's going to get me more stuff. And I could also do with a sawmill. Gathering post right there. Resource depot. I could do with a resource depot as well. Um, food rations from a resource depot. And I also need more other stuff as well but no the sawmill right now base wood is if i put the sawmill i'm going to destroy resources doing that but i'll also be able to get a whole load of resources as well so i'm going to put it there anyway despite the fact that i'm destroying some resources and then we'll be able to later on hopefully get another thing in there like that. it's the wall drill i think it is and let's carry on let's carry on 10 people left with prosthetics patience in here Two hours, one hour. Okay, that's all looking good. About 23 hours on all of those. So really I'm looking at getting some more people into the hothouses and increasing the temperature in here to hopefully boost the amount of food that we can produce. Which I think would be really handy. Oh, hello. What is this? I paused it. A desperate father. One of our people has quietly left the city in the night. He left a note. Captain, I apologize for leaving my post. I have to follow the Londoners. I have to try to bring my daughter back. Or at least die with her if I can't persuade her. I'm sorry, but I can't abandon my child. Wish me luck. Let's hope he finds her. And he brings her back. So we've lost somebody. Somebody is no longer working for us. That is not great. But we, well, we still got work. we still got watchmen around. We do still have watchmen. So it's, it's not the end of the world. This is not the end of everything. But it's, you know, it, it could be better. That one's busy working. I've got two things here being built. That one, oh no, that one's being dismantled. We're getting some resources back from that. This one here is being upgraded. We've got a couple hours left. Speed that up a bit. Uh, I got 20. I really need to do some more research. I really need to get some more research going. And in particular, I think efficient gathering there uh, gathering post insulation would be quite good and then this one down here I can't even get to that at the moment resource depot upgrade resource depots 50% more resources no I don't really I guess it would be good I guess that would good um, range upgrade heater efficiency this one here I need 75 steel for that one so I can go advance heaters uh, I don't know 
I'm, I'm getting to the point where I really don't know, because I, I, I need to steal for, like, upgrading things, and we got charcoal kiln, I can make more coal. Intent, heat, char, 70 wood, uh, producing 210 coal per standard workday. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, steam sawmill there, and then we got the steam wall drill down here. Oh, the, the wall drill. There. That requires a steam core, though. It's 160 wood per standard workday. The steam store sawmill there. I don't really want to waste resources upgrading the, the steam up to that one. I want this one. I would say that's a more important one to get. We go for it, because that is going to require one of my steam cores. I'm going to be using steam cores on here. But, I mean, at the moment, these things here, they cost 95 steel and 95 wood. That's what I want from the scouts. 95 steel and 95 wood would help if I actually press play on here, wouldn't it? Right, let's uh, pause again. Serious accident. Sir, has been an accident. Automator stepped on a man, crushing his leg, crippling, crippling him for life. People argue that the automation should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. We can't afford it. Discontent will rise slightly. Automatons will remain a threat. Hope will rise. The efficiency of automators will fall by 10%. No, we cannot afford it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We cannot afford it. That is not something that we can do. Absolutely not. Now, these here, I am wondering if I should, like, consolidate these a little bit. If I go for none in there, and I put them all into that one there, so we've got nine people working in there, that might be a bit better. Just just con a little bit of consolidation on the hunters. Although I'm not sure how much we're really going to want, because, like, oh, there, I got another one done. I got another person available. And what do we got down here? Now, this one here, food is at max at the moment. They, they, um, they're functioning. Could not resume, requires raw food. Ah. Right. Uh, so now I've got two of ten people working on that one. I can actually put more people in there, but I don't have anybody available. That's, that's, that's a little bit of a nuisance. I need more people available to work in that one. I've, I mean, I've got this huge coal pile here that I'm getting... A load of coal in. We're up to 420 coal there right now, which is doing well. The workday is about to stop. A huge crowd of people has reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say that some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way and they'll die without our help. We'd never have survived. Thank our lucky stars that the polar explorer Nansen warned us about the disaster and told us to evacuate. Please let us in. Only the healthy. 30 people are ill. Discontent will rise. Hope will rise. Discontent will rise slightly. Hope will fall slightly. And 40 people will enter. And we're basically sending 30 people to die. Send them on their way. Hope will fall. Discontent will rise, but so will hope. We'll bring them all in. It's going to be tough. we got 30 people. And I've got... I hope we won't regret it. Yeah, so do I. I so do I. I'm, I'm with you on this. Right, at least make yourselves useful, get to work. Ha ha ha. You're all heart. You're all heart, people. Right, let's boost that up so that we can get these sick people sorted as rapidly as possible. I've got no... I still don't... I need resources. So those people there, we can assign some people into here. And we will max that one out like that. And we will quickly max these out. Like this. Watchtowers there. Watchtower there, and a watchtower there. Right? Oh, guard stations, whatever, whatever you want to call them. That is now maxed out, and that is... Let's, let's get some more people working in there. I'm going to drop that down a bit. I'm going to put some engineers in there. And then this coal pile back here, we'll put more people on it. I've got an automaton working on that coal pile. This one here could do with some people. So put six and four. So I've only got four people left now. Just four people left. There is... I'm going to drop that down a bit. And I'm going to put some engineers in there. So that I can put more people hunting again overnight. And I have run out of time. We will continue this on next time. We will see if this was a wise decision or not. I've got a whole load of patients in here. There are a lot of them going to treatment. But... I do think that, um, let's, let's just speed that up a minute. Let's see how long it takes for them to get to treatment. Right, oh. Hang on. Oh, no, 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 not the cold homes problem. So a lot of people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They quite sensibly point out it's easy to fall ill when it's cold. 
You have to start heating two of the cold homes within two days and keep them heated for two days. Uh, no, I'm going to do two. We'll we just go with two. Let's, let's do this. Zero of two. Um, where are these cold homes? I don't even know where they are. What's classed as cold? We're going to deal with that next time. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you've really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.